Hey guys, I got this uh, interesting case a few weeks ago. I took uh, a screenshot and a video. I thought I would share it with you. I uh, may have an explanation for this, but feel free to uh, share your thoughts about it. We're looking at an ARDS patient who was on ABV CMV mode of ventilation. The set rate was at 24 per minute, meaning that every two and a half seconds there is a breath by, by the machine if the patient did not trigger that breath. Every time the machine is triggered, the intention is to give 400 ml of tidal volume. We're going to be looking at this breath first, the second one, and the third one. So this breath, I don't see the initiation of it but it seems to be patient triggered very similar to the third one which is patient triggered the pressure goes up to 30 centimeter of water for the duration of inspiration the flow goes up to around 70 liters per minute and then decelerates with this inspiratory flow the tidal volume or the, the volume goes up to the tidal volume of 600 which is much larger than the set tidal volume of 400. This is all caused by patient's efforts. I mean the larger tidal volume is caused by the patient's effort. Cycling starts here, the pressure is released, expiratory flow Exhalation starts here, volume goes down and continues to go down throughout expiration. At this point here, it looks like the volume is cut off, recalibrates. Notice that the flow goes up gradually or goes down gradually to zero. There is some flow here. At this point here, the flow stops completely. This is the point where this breath starts and take a look on it. It's happening after 2.5 seconds. No inspiratory uh, efforts by the patient, no negative deflection by the patient. So this is machine triggered or time triggered. Once the machine is triggered, pressure of 30 centimeter is delivered for the duration of inspiration. Now, notice that with this pressure of 30 centimeter of water, similar to the previous pressure, there is no flow at all. At the same time, there is no volume. The flow stays at zero for the duration of inspiration. So this is machine delivered breath, but no flow and no volume. So it looks like the airways were obstructed completely. The third breath initiated by negative deflection by the patient. Pressure goes up to 30 centimeter. Similar flow to the first one. Similar tidal volume to the first one. So let's take a look on the video and see how is the patient breathing. Take a look here. So, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation, inhalation. Take a look. Exhalation, so this is happening exhalation, inhalation. Exhalation, inhalation. So during exhalation of the patient, the machine is delivering this, but there is no air at all. There is no air delivered into the patient. So this is very strange. You can see during this time here, there is no flow at all. As if this is obstructed airways, I thought the only explanation for this would be active exhalation. So the inspiratory pressure 
by the machine is not able to deliver any air because of active exhalation. Usually exhalation is passive and any positive pressure would be able to seize that exhalation and cut it off. Not in this case here. Let me just do it again. Inspiration, exhalation. Inspiration, exhalation. Inspiration, exhalation. And this is happening in exhalation. Same thing. So, the uh, way we manage this case is by paralysis. We sedated the patient with a BIS monitor and targeted a BIS score of around 40, paralyzed the patient, and completely omitted this asynchrony. If you have any other thoughts, let me know, please. It was very interesting, by the way, the patient uh, had uh, serotonin syndrome and required to be intubated because of ARDS. Eventually, the patient recovered completely, was extubated and discharged. Thank you very much.